So back in 2016, Boeing officially launched the 737 MAX 10 due to airlines such as Korean Air and United Airlines wanting something larger and more comparable to the Airbus AV21neo. Now Airbus launched their ever successful Neo series which has gained well over 5000 plus orders. To rival this, Boeing launched the MAX series which is essentially an evolution of the current 737s. We all know there are 4 variants of the MAX, the 7, the 8, the 9 and the focus of this video, the MAX 10. Now you might be thinking, is there any need for the MAX 10 considering that the other 3 variants are able to do a good enough job? But where Boeing didn't focus on was the range and the so-called success of the AV21neo. You see the AV21neo was essentially the step towards filling the gap in the middle of the market with the LR variant. The AV21 was pitched as a short haul product but it could be used on short to medium long haul routes by operating further distances with less capacity. Boeing didn't really have an answer for this and without spending billions of dollars on a whole new design, the 737 MAX 10 was officially launched. Now the biggest difficulty that Boeing had to overcome for the MAX 10 was the layout of the main landing gear. Compared to the other variants, it's too small to handle the length of the MAX 10 and the plane would end up scraping the tail of the fuselage upon takeoff. Now bearing in mind that the MAX 10 is 66 inches longer than the MAX 9 variant, and Boeing faced a problem on how to overcome this issue. You see they had two options, change the landing gear housing which would require a huge redesign of the fuselage or make the larger landing gear fit into the same space. Of course to save money and time, they chose the second option which would require a lot of innovation and new technology. So by going down this route, Boeing essentially changed the structure of the apparatus by adding a lever that extends the landing gear and another apparatus that pulls the extended piece inwards when it needs to be loaded into the bay after takeoff. Although this is a very simple yet elegant solution, it still remains to be seen whether the theory will actually work in reality. With the first delivery of the MAX 10 set to be in 2020, we can assume that most of the problems that could arise will be alleviated before the delivery date. Now I know many people believe that the MAX 10 is not a good enough answer from Boeing to answer for the gap in the middle of the market. What I want to know from you guys is, do you think the MAX 10 is acceptable or do you think that they should have left the program or should they have been patient with the arrival of the 797? Let me know what you think in the comments below guy. Let me know what you think in the comments below guys. Remember to like and subscribe for more aviation videos and I hope to see you in the next one.